Our first Missouri Tiger of the year is Christian Williams. He's ready for your questions. We'll start over here on the left-hand side. Morgan Weaver from KBTX in College Station. It's been since 2014 Mizzou's played in College Station. Just what have you heard about Kyle Field in that atmosphere? Um, I heard it was, what, over 100-some thousand people? That's a lot of people, but, I mean, just – we ain't really gave too much thought about it. We're just trying to focus on what we have to accomplish right now, and that's to get through summer workouts, uh, go through fall camp, and just build that camaraderie with one another. On the right side, and then pass the microphone forward. Christian, I'm curious, you know, what kind of bonus have maybe you, um, you know, a guy like Johnny taking on, trying to mentor all these transfers and young guys coming on the defensive line? What have you done to help them adapt to the culture? And even a guy like Will coming straight from the high school level in KC where he's a high recruit, how do you help him? adapt to the, uh, the Mizzou culture and be able to make sure that he can contribute next season? Uh, not only trying to enforce the standard on them, but just to make them feel more comfortable in who they are as a person. Uh, you got everybody on the team. They're all leaders in their own way, form and fashion. And I feel like my job is to just try to find out and figure it out and enhance it a little more so they can be able to do what they want to do. Go on the back row, on the left. Dan Pack, ESPN 106.7 in Auburn after, uh, after a big season last year. A lot of folks are talking about Missouri as a contender this year. Has, has, it, been, uh, has it been difficult to ignore all of that and just have a, a normal offseason? Do, do you embrace the expectations? Uh, what, what's that been like? Oh, with social media and phones and technology stuff, it's obviously difficult to be able to block anything out. But for the most part, we just try to stay present and lock in on what we got to do and lock in on the adversities that as a team that we got to go through and just to be able to come out of that, we'll just build our brotherhood and our bond with one another. So we're not really too focused on that. Right side on the aisle, please. Hey, Christian, Natalie Jones with ABC 17 in Columbia. You know, first year with Corey Batoon at the helm of this defense. You know, how did spring go with Corey? You know, how, how did things differ maybe a little bit from last year with, with him at the helm? Well, he's fresh in, so just to be able to know him as a person, for him to know me as a person, uh, it took a lot of growing pains in the area just to get to know one another first and then go right into the workouts, go right into the walkthroughs, go right into knowing the playbook and stuff. And that's it's challenging for anybody. So just to be able to experience that with him and learn more of him and pick off his brain as, more, as much as I could possibly can, uh, he's a situational master. So that's my biggest takeaway from him. He's a laid-back guy. He gets on you if he needs to. And uh, I'm just excited to see what the future may hold. Left side on the aisle and pass it back. Kennedy Wright with CBS 42. There's a lot of conversation regarding the schedule this upcoming season and how it can kind of be seen as in, in Missouri's favor. Would you agree that the, the schedule this season is in you guys' favor? <laughs> well, I wouldn't say that because every single game is NFL caliber players on each and every team. So you have to bring out a game every game. So I wouldn't say it's in our favor. We're just trying to prove something. And we, each and every year we have something to prove. We're just trying to elevate the standard that we had from last year. And last year's the past, and we accepted that. And we're just trying to move forward. Okay, on the aisle. Yeah, Evan Kamiko, Pig Trail Nation. Last year, the game between Arkansas and Missouri got pretty chippy on the field. And off the field, there's been questions whether or not it, it is a rivalry. What do you <laughs> think it, is the future between Arkansas and Missouri? What do I think the future between us and Arkansas? Uh, whatever it is, it's a, it's a rival for a reason. So who, who knows? You never know. It's a, but it's a competitive sport at the end of the day. Uh, emotions flare up. Uh, guys compete with one another at the highest level. So you want, you want to bring that out of somebody. Like you want to bring the best out of them. So who knows? Left side, front row. Yeah, Brennan Dramo, UInsider.com, Rivals.com. Uh, it's been over a decade since Missouri and Oklahoma have, you know, seen each other, battle each other on the field. They have a long history of playing each other through the Big 8 and the Big 12. Has that been a discussion, I guess, Coach Drinkwitz, has he talked to you all about that? And obviously, just the – can you tell that it used to be kind of a heated rivalry back in the day for a little, a little bit? I actually learned that through social media. Coach Drink, he never really touched on it. He just want us to be present and stay focused. Uh, the most important game is the next game. And in our case, it's the next workout or the next day of fall camp. So he just want us to focus on what's now. And then when that time comes, just be prepared for it. Right side on the aisle. 
Christian, you know, as you saw guys like D. Rob and, you know, uh, guys move forward to the NFL draft and go into the NFL, you know, how do you feel like your role maybe shifts a little bit this year as a leader on this team? Um, role may have shifted. Uh, I would probably say, I wouldn't say that the mission is different. At the end of the day, I have something to prove. I'll just probably say it is with a newer group of guys, so I have to get to know more people more. And it's not a problem for me. Uh, at the end of the day, I want to be able to go outside my comfort zone. I want them to go outside their comfort zone. And for us to thrive how we want to thrive, you have to make those sacrifices. Right side, fourth row. I'm curious on the interior of the defensive line, guys like Eddie, uh, Sterling, Chris transfers in too. How do you see kind of you guys shaping up as far as, you know, are you guys going to play mostly three, see yourself moving inside a little bit in terms of technique? How do you see – you know, you guys is kind of an interior defensive line shaping up next season. Uh, as we would call ourselves Trish Mob, and also, in my opinion, we are big athletes. So <laughs> I feel like we could do it all at any weight. I mean, Coach Batum has a, a great scheme for us um, in all assets. I mean, he has multiple defenses that we could go in and out of. He has multiple disguises. So just be on the lookout for many different looks. Back row. Uh, Christian, in, in October, Auburn comes to visit uh, Missouri. It's not, not a, a series that's been played all that often since Missouri joined the, uh, the SEC. Uh, your familiarity with the, uh, with the Auburn program? You know anybody uh, on, on that team, and any, anybody who uh, uh, you, you've played with in the past? I knew some guys like DJ James, Robbie Ashford, but also as of now I know Asante, and he's up here now. So, <laughs> I mean, we're not going to exchange words on what our game is going to be like. we just rather show each other. So, yeah, that's the biggest thing. That's the person I know. Any other questions? Thank you very much, Christian. Appreciate y'all.